Welcome to another episode from Virtualize Everything, where we strive to inform and educate the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's presentation is going to be a tutorial about setting up what I like to call an easy Python development container. As you know, if you do development work and you use containerization, you may have to rebuild Docker containers dozens of times. But what if there was a way that you could still use containerization without the drawbacks of using a Docker container? Well, you can. Here's a tutorial about how to do that on a Proxmox virtualization server. Your first step is going to be to create a new container in Proxmox. After you open the Proxmox web interface, you're going to follow the steps of selecting the Proxmox server you want to use from the data center dropdown. And then in the upper right hand corner, you're going to press create CT. Here's a short video of a container being created for this purpose. The resources that you assign to this container in this process will vary for your own personal project. I have just assigned resources that I typically use for my projects, but you do not have to assign those same resources. Now that you have your container created, you can select your container in the data center dropdown on the left hand side of the screen. Then you can press start and console in the upper right hand corner. Now you may want to update this container before installing Python 3.9 you can do that by using the apt upgrade and the apt update commands. Then we can install Python using the apt install python 3.9 or whatever your current version is dash y command. The output that you see on the right hand side of this slide should look very similar to the output that you get when Python is finished installing. Now that Python's finished installing, I like to have an easy way to transfer the scripts that I have written into this container. I use Samba to do this. To install Samba, you can enter the command apt install samba-y. Now that Samba has been installed, you will need to Configure Samba. You can do this by navigating your Nano text editor to the location that you see on the left hand side of this slide. And use the configuration that I have provided for you on the lower left hand side. Now the path can change, so in the comments and you can change read only or browsable status. I highly recommend that you leave read only and browsable alone because this can cause configuration issues with using your Samba share later on when you go to access it from your system. Now that Samba has been configured, we need to restart the service using service SMBD restart and allow the share to operate with the firewall UFW allow Samba. Now the last step to configuring your Samba share is SMB PASS WD A and your username. Now you have a fully working Easy Python development container. 
This container will allow you to easily work with Python in a dedicated environment that will be similar to your deployment environment so that you can debug and work through any issues you want in a fast and easy manner. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Every subscription helps Virtualize Everything get closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Meeting our goal of 1,000 subscribers means YouTube will begin monetizing our videos. The monetization means that Virtualize Everything will be able to afford more equipment to bring you better informative projects and improve the quality of your videos. As always, have a good night.